So I've had this pedal board for a couple of years now. It's been great. It's been really good having here in my studio. I haven't used it live. I've only used it for recording and for my videos and stuff like that. But something that usually happens after a while is that I take off some pedals, maybe to try something new. Maybe I sell some of them. And then at the end, the board ends up being useless because I miss so many important parts. So what I want to do now is to put some pedals back on the board. Some of them I want to take off for good. Some I want to replace. I want to fix some practical stuff on my board that isn't really working that well. And the first thing that I wanted to do was to fix a power supply that is hanging upside down inside the pedal board. I put some new dual lock on there. That wasn't quite doing it, so I bought some zip ties and... That seemed to do the trick. I've been really annoyed by this for a long time. It's always falling down. I guess the adhesive behind the dual lock is not enough. So yeah, I think the zip ties will work a lot better. I knew some of the pedals that I wanted to have there. I was not completely sure about what overdrive pedals. Uh, there will be a lot of drive pedals on this board. So it's really important for me to have the right drive pedals on there, not only based on how they sound alone, but how they sound together, because I will do a lot of stacking. Uh, I ended up basing everything around the Kernum drive, and I wanted to have a Timmy after that to stack with the Kernum. I also wanted to have a Klon before that to boost into the Kernum, and I also put a detonator by Ohmless pedals to use with strats to boost the volume. I was sure that I wanted to have the pink bunny fuzz there, so that went on pretty fast. And then I got three fuzz pedals from Echo Effects. I knew that there was one specific one from Echo Effects that I was really interested in, but I decided to do a quick audition to test them all to see what fuzz pedal would be right to have as a second fuzz on my pedal board. Other than the drive section, most of the board is pretty similar to how I built it a couple of years ago. I have the Digitech Drop and the Ricochet and that I use a lot. Everything ends up in a Line 6 Helix or a HX Stomp under the pedal board, like under the second floor. I have a phaser and a reverb that goes before the drive section, which is really important for a sound that I often use. 
I also have a unit 67 that I use as a always on boost and EQ and compressor. I only use this board for studio use, I don't play live. I use it for tracking guitar, I use it for videos here on my channel or when I'm scoring music for film projects that I'm a part of. The board is from Schmidt Array. I've been really, really happy with the board. I usually use a solid cable from the board to my amp. Today I'm using a Tone King Sky King and I'm using this new Inex audio cable going into the board. A cable that I've been using here on my channel for about a month now. I've been really happy with that one. Other than that, for the upcoming test of the board so you can hear it, I'm using a new microphone that I just got. It's from AEA and it's called the KU5A and it's a ribbon mic that is really good for electric guitars.